right, everybody, Willie the Bam Johnson here with Inside the Dojo, um, presented to you by Fuya Legacy Magazine. We have Mr. Michael Jai White. I'm here, honored, my hero, my brother. You know, it's just an honor to be sitting here with him. You know, just connecting again. You didn't see in a couple of the past interviews um, where we talked about the, the empowerment of how the urban martial arts have really helped that generation of martial artists back in the 70s, well into what we see right now. I was talking to you earlier about the, um, the point MMA, just like that, that missing link of just sparring. I know a lot of people sometimes forget that you are a real martial artist and you didn't did, I, I think the story is that you didn't did that 100 men fighting and all that stuff. I mean, can you give them a little history on your, your experience in the martial arts and the sparring? Well, yeah, I, I've done a, a number of styles. Uh, I think you're referring to uh, in Kyokushin. Yes, sir. Have, yes, uh, sir. Yeah, they, they have the 100 men. In Kumute, uh, but I didn't do that. Okay, okay. But it, it, uh, quite often you do these 10 and 20 and 30 man fights. Okay. okay. Which are pretty, pretty hard, you know, <laughs> because of you know, the fact that you have to fight like nonstop okay. 20 to 30 fresh black belts who are trying to stop. <laughs> right, right. So, right. I mean, you know, that's one of these things where it's one of the reasons why Kyokushin is really close to my heart because it's. It's something that that hasn't given way to being commercial. Right, right. It's okay. still, you know, to get through something like that, you have to dig deep because, of course, your body wants to fail. There's there's something that's going to get you past right, uh, right. the, the uh, your comfort zone, and that's well in well past your right, comfort right, zone right, fighting yeah. thirty men yeah. in a row. Right, right. Uh, so I mean, it's one of those things where. Um, that's, sadly, that concept is being lost in martial arts. I think martial arts should be tantamount to uh, a paramilitary operation. Very much using uh, the, the military terms, uh, there's always a hierarchy in the military that everybody, there's nobody who doesn't answer to someone, Right. you know? And there is a discipline that comes out of the traditional military, that without that stringent discipline, you cannot, you could not garner these, uh, this, the kind of will and determination that's fostered from that. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we miss when we kind of go too much on the business route in martial arts, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because then, you know, some people call it watered down or whatever, but the fact is, uh, People are missing a great deal when this, the training is less than it was intended. Right, right. And, and that, that's interesting. Even when you were saying about the, I think when, when we talk about you got to dig down deep, it was really that emotion. Mm -hmm. I mean, would you agree? It was like they, they challenged that emotion and either you're going to rise up and control that fear and stand up and grow from it or it can break you. And it seems like when you take out that sparring, that important component, be it any level, the kid never learns. And, and I'm speaking to kids because, I mean, I mm -hmm. think that's the next generation. And if we don't really build them, you're going to have people that are like, like we see in the world, they're just not, they emotion, they're not even emotionally prepared to deal with someone yelling and screaming at them. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's, we are softening uh, the society in a, in a big way. Uh, it's coming from the school systems uh, where, you know, you know, kids, we grew up in the hood. Yeah, and yeah. one thing in the hood, you, you, you find somebody's weak point. Right. right. And um, these kids find the teacher's weak points and they, they, they just kind of, uh, you know, they just hold that against them. You know, you, you, um, you learn how to play people. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah, you, you yeah, to yeah. yeah. survive on yeah, that in the street. Yeah, yeah. Um, when it's like, you know, you got to do this, you got to have the discipline to get through mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. there's no excuses. See, nowadays, just excuses right. seem to matter. Right, right, right. And, you know, and you're, not gonna, you're not getting that discipline out there in life. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we had martial arts to, to really say, okay, you want to get to this place, you have to dig deep. And one thing about martial art is 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 an individual individual effort. It's not a team effort. Yeah. Yeah. So one day, you know, you can't, you know, you're two feet from a split. The next, 
and you know, after a while, you, your foot first right. foot, and then, right. then you're all the way down on the mm -hmm. floor. Mm -hmm. Everything is in increments. Everything is these little plateaus that you have to break through, these obstacles that you have to overcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you learn that, and you go, wow, I can overcome these obstacles. Yeah. 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 And, and that's the greatest thing. It's not about being able to whoop somebody yeah. behind or yeah. whatever. It's because you can overcome your obstacles if you have the discipline to do so. Yeah. And, and, that, and that, it goes right back again. That was the reason why we put that point that we made together. We just structured sparring. I mean, I think a lot of times when, when people ask me, I say, no, I didn't create anything new. I just added structure mm -hmm. to what all the fighters were doing, like the Billies, the, the Nasties, and you know, the, the, the William Olivers, and just, mm -hmm. you know, we even got a technique in there where we call it the William Oliver technique. Mm -hmm. You know, so <coughs> I think, excuse me, Sometimes we also, when we talk about the American martial arts, we also have lost the history. We don't remember who were the pioneers like, a, you know, Thomas the Puppet, the first black guy to be in the Black Bowl Hall of Fame. Yeah. I mean, some kind of way we got to keep those, those um, memories connected, I think, to the American art. Because without that, I think we get lost. So for me, putting point MMA together, I look at my little kid, the, the youngest one, he ain't going to never grow up in no hood because we, as, as, a, as a parent, we make their lives better. We don't, I, I want you to go through the struggle, but I ain't gonna take you back to the hood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I done, I done yeah. broke away from that, you yeah. know? And even the older one, he might throw a joke like, yeah, you know, I came up in the, yeah, you got rescued from the hood. I'm gonna let that go, mm -hmm. but you ain't really come from the hood like mm -hmm. we came from. Mm -hmm. But still that emotion of, you know, your parents say, look, he wanna fight, y'all fight. Mm -hmm. you, they on the porch while we out there fighting. Mm -hmm. And you know, eventually, eventually when two warriors go into battle, once you get tired, ain't nobody doing no more blows. Mm -hmm. We hugging each other, and before you know it, man, let's go get a frozen cup. Mm -hmm. Y'all become the best of friends because of that, that yeah. internal battle. And that's what we wanted to do with Point MMA. I don't want to, I don't think, I think I was saying before, I don't think I should be, I don't want my baby learning no elbows to no face right now. Because if he don't have the emotional control when a kid mess with him in school, what are you going to do? An elbow to the face. But if I can teach him how to, like you were saying, deal with that sort of emotional pressure of a sharp kick coming, because I would rather lose than to be embarrassed in the fight. And I always ask kids, I say, look, you got two things. We can fight, guy can bust your lip, you can walk away with honor, or a guy can just make you look like a, a clown. Pop, 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 which one hurts the most? Look, be, being made to look like a fool. Okay, so what's the whole object of having good technique? And I think that's all we were trying to do with Point of MMA. We just want to carry you on those things that you're talking about. You're right. There's a, even running a commercial school, there's a big missing link. Half the instructors don't even know martial arts. Mm -hmm. So we know that, I believe if, if the whole world could, if we can teach every child the principles that you talk about, I think we can change society. And you said that one time before. But it can't be taught without sparring. I mean, would you agree? Yeah, yeah. I mean, sparring is so necessary in my in my opinion, uh, on so many levels. First of all, I mean, I mean, it's like one of the reasons why I always say you bow to your opponent is because that opponent is going to make you better than yeah, you would be right. yes, on your right. own. Yeah, yeah. All right, that, you know, there's a you can you can do techniques against a bag, but how about a, a bag that has its own <laughs> his own mind and spirit yeah, and everything yeah, else? Yeah, yeah. My, my philosophy is um, even as an an advanced uh, person in, in, in fighting, I always want to train for, uh, if even if I'm sparring uh, an underbelt, mm -hmm. well, maybe I'll train myself to only move once his fist become, it gets right, right in. Right, okay, okay. Or I want to work my weaker techniques. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it's about me getting something out of it. Yeah. Now, if I beat on somebody who doesn't have the same ability, yeah. what have I yeah. learned? Yeah. And what does that person yeah. learn? Yeah. But now, every time I step on the training floor, I'm going to be working at something. I'm gonna, they don't, they're not going to know that I'm handicapping myself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or I'm going to do just this technique, mm -hmm. or I'm going to block at the last second, or these things that try to make myself yeah. better. Yeah. I'm getting better yeah. off of somebody who has half my, yeah. my experience. Yeah. Yeah. But every time I get out there, I'm working my, my weaker points. If I continue to do that, hopefully I look forward to 
sparring with someone who I can use all my skills. Yeah. You know, yes, sir. after yes, a while, even, even your weak points come up, and then a lot of people won't be able to hang right. with you. Right. Because right. you've worked, you've always been working. Mm -hmm. Instead of feeding your ego mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just saying, I'm just going to try to get the best of this person. I'm, I'm mentioning this as there's a whole lot of worlds in sparring where you can get better. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yes, how yes. I can even get better yes. with somebody who is a beginner. Yeah. Yes. You know what yeah. I mean? So that aspect and that bow means the same thing. Thank you for letting me improve myself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you know? Sir. Yeah. Yeah. And so and so and then so you have to deal with your emotions, you have to deal with your breath, you have to deal with technique, yeah. you have to deal with so yeah. much. Yeah. You know, that's that's a necessary component in the martial arts. I don't, I mean, you know, there's some martial arts that are just like 80% form, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or some even more than that now. You know, you can call it whatever, but to me that that's not a, that's not a complete system. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and that's what's so beautiful with Point MMA. We got the sparring, we got the fitness, we got the, the call to action, but I just think that in our society right now, our children got to be, they, they, they got to be emotionally strong. And you just hit on it right there. And even with all the school owners that we do talk to and we sell the program, even talking to people like, it's like what you're saying right now, what would you say to her? Because even though you're being an entertainer, everybody know that, man, this man can fight. He's a real martial artist. But sometimes people get it twisted because you don't, you don't want to be called master. You know, you you that you love. I, I, I mean, I, I in my school I tell people don't call me Master Bam. I ain't no Master Man. There's only one Master. Just call me Professor Bam or Mr. Bam. But I love the art so much. I don't want to get to that point where the learning stops. And I, and I, and, I, and, I, and it seems like you're that same way where you just want to. Be, you you love the art. You're yeah. a perfectionist and and just improving yourself. That's what you just said. Yeah. What would you say to us to these people? Because they they have control of this next generation. If you could say something to a school owner or one of those masters out there that's working with these people, what would you say that can just help them to think about making a change to better the industry of martial arts right now? Well, I would, I, I think a lot of people have broken from the instructors and started their own system <laughs> and they consider themselves, you know, whether grandmaster, yeah, master, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I just say, hey, you, you know, you got to expect your students to do the same yeah, thing because yeah. that's what they saw. Yeah, that's right. You know, that's right. so at a certain yeah, point, yeah. they're going to break away from yeah. you and do yeah. that same thing because you're not bowing to anybody. You're not subordinate to somebody above you. Mm -hmm. Again, using the same analogy of the armed forces, there's always something, someone mm -hmm. that is, you know, is answered to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that, that assures that the person at the top is still humble. Mm -hmm. See, now, when you are the master of your own, you know, domain and style or whatever, if you forget to be humble with that, your students are going to forget to be humble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, so that's the thing is like, I don't, I just say, oh, don't get caught up in the whole master yeah, thing. Yeah. That drives me up a wall, yeah, yeah, personally. Yeah, yes, sir. Because yeah. it's like, when you just go down, the, historically, it's like, okay, uh, the root of this martial art or that martial art is Chinese, Japanese, Korean. Where the hell did the word master come yeah, from? 